so um, I don't even know what time it is, but it's on the earlier-ish side because I have an appointment today. We have lots of things to do today, like so many things, so many things. So first I need to wake up my children. I hear little people voices. Theo Boo, get up please. Theo. <sighs> Yo, what was the purpose of me buying these beds if they refuse to sleep on them? Good morning, Tom Tom. Yo, baby, I need you to wake up. Come on, you have water day today. I know you weren't asleep. Come on, up, up. So I have to fold and pack all those clothes and put in our suitcase. Um, Tom Tom? I thought Thomas was in the bathroom, I guess not. Again, camps out on the floor, but he has a whole bed. I just, I don't be understanding it, y'all. Like, this was such a waste of my money. This bed was not cheap. It really was not cheap. And they still decide to sleep on the floor rather than in the expensive bed that I provided for them. Oh boy, but these are Tom Tom's clothes that he wants to take, so I also need to roll these up, put them in the suitcase. I already have I already have their backpacks ready to go for the plane. Okay. Nakedness. But yeah. So I have to go downstairs, get a did I show you guys my little bruise or like I skinned my knee? Good morning. Where were you? I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you were hiding from me? Yeah. What is happening in the bathroom? Is water running? But in the basement, when I always went down in the basement, I saw there was like a big puddle. In the basement, when I went downstairs in the basement, I saw there was like a big whole puddle in the basement, and there were clothes in it, and those clothes got wet. There was like a, there was like two big puddles. All right, I'll go look at it. But they're gone now. Oh well. But something had to be melted. Oh, that's what they're having. Yes, you guys have to go because I have an appointment. Because it's you can't. I'm not. Because you can't. Because of COVID. Yeah. Oh, sure. <sighs> okay, so I was in a rush to go to um, Starbucks. Like before, I had to go to work, so I was like walking fast, and I came up alongside like this mom and her son going into the PX and. Her son, just, you know, kids being kids, decided to cross in front of me while he was walking. And so me trying to be in a rush and not bump into him, I tried to like two-step around him, but I ended up tripping on the curb, falling down onto my knees, ripped my jeans, and skinned my knee. Like, here I am, over 30, with a skinned knee. So I've been letting it dry out. Um, I've cleaned it. But now I'm going to like put my bandage on it since I'm like when I'm in the house this is just exposed to the air but when I step out into the public I like to put a bandage on top of it because oh like well, the slightest mommy, bump to this thing hurts well, mommy, how do we well, why didn't he use his brain because you know if he steps in front of you you might step on the shoe on accident and get a score on the knee yeah I know but sometimes I also want to point out that sometimes that's how you walk there have been many a day well, you never where did. while you're walking you cross right in front of somebody All right, trying to do this with one hand. I can do it. I can help you, Mama. I can hold it for you. Oh, 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 oh. I can hold it. I got it, I got it, Mama. I got it. 
There we go. All done. Covered and protected. Ugh. Okay, so the boys are going and getting dressed. Um, so my appointment today is at 11 and it is 9.04. So I really need them to hurry because I still need to drop them off at two different centers. Um, because this will be their last week of aftercare and they're going to get the full use out of it because we already paid for it. So, appointment is at 11. It is to get my wax done. I know I have the wax warmer and stuff upstairs. I tried y'all like I tried to do the wax myself but it was never the same like I didn't always get everything and then like asking my husband for help like that just that that wasn't helpful so it's just better I'm just gonna pay the $80 who hurts my heart a little bit to say but I'm just gonna pay the $80 and let's leave it to the professionals it's gonna leave it to them because they can see better like trying to position myself in front of the mirror to make sure I'm getting what I'm supposed to be getting like I'm just gonna leave it to the professionals that's what they're there for so first appointment is to get a wax then after the wax we need to run to either Dollar Tree or Walmart just because I need to get like some well I really don't need the storage bag since everything's going into one suitcase and we do have ziploc bags here that I can put like our toothbrushes and stuff in to put into the suitcase so yeah so after the wax it will be back home to um finish doing all the other wonderful wonderful very strenuous not a very good way to spend your last day off at all but it's whatever so yeah oh so many changes are happening so many changes all right so this is my little outfit of the day um, I was going to wear a dress, but then I remembered that, you know, I'm getting a wax. So, you know, from the bottoms down has to come off. And if I wear a dress, then it's like the whole dress has to come off. And then they like wrap me in a towel. I don't know. So I just figured pants and shirt, some light, nothing too special um, for today. And then I have these lashes that I'm thinking like after the wax, I'll go get my lashes done. I'll save my nails for when I get to Jersey because my favorite nail salon is in Jersey and I'm so excited to see them. So I'll get my nails done in Jersey, but I think I may want to put these lashes on. I have another pair from like a more reputable brand, but these I got for free from, um, was it Shein or Lovely Wholesale? One of them in my order. And I just like how, like they're not really that big. I don't want like tarantulas like on my eyelashes, like the heavy kind where you just got to close your eyes because your eyelids are doing a workout from blinking and just trying to keep the eyelashes up. I don't want those kinds of problems. So I'm thinking about getting these put on just because, you know, they're not that thick. So I don't know. So after the wax, go do lashes and then we'll come back home to the chaos that is everything that I still have left to do. I have to email my boss. I have to finish registering the boys for school. Uh, so much stuff. So much has to get done. And then I'm just going to leave Rock with this wig. I've been wearing it for like, <laughs> I want to say almost a week now, but I'm just going to keep rocking with it because I, the braids that I wanted to get done everywhere around here in Colorado that I tried to get it done, like they didn't have time or it didn't fit my time schedule. So I'm just going to have to wait until I get back to Jersey to do that. And the one place that I do go to get my hair braided, they don't give a damn about your natural hair. They just pull and yank and you just feel every single hair follicle being snatched out of your scalp. So I was trying not to go to them, but it's looking like that's just going to be my best bet is to go to them to get my hair done. So headband wig it is. But all right, let me get these kids to school. Oh, and then this is my, well, it's not my little bag. It's Theo's little book bag for today for because they have water day at his aftercare. Hi, sir. This is my day, kid. This is my house. It's your house. Yeah, I buy this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, cover your mouth. Germs. <coughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, come on. Let's go finish doing our stuff so you can go to school. <sighs> All right, so here were the other lashes I was telling y'all that I had. Um, I just feel like these are... I got them on sale, as you can see, from Walmart. But I just feel like that is a lot of lash, and it's going to be heavy. 
and I don't know. Whereas opposed to this one, I don't know, it seems more dainty, more natural. Like these just, they're cute, but it's a lot of lash for me. So I don't know, I think we still may go with these ones. But I got the eczema cream here because I need to lotion up Thomas's hand. Tom Tom, bring me your hand, please. Like, so this is his hand and I've been putting like eczema cream on it, but it definitely looks better than it did before the cream, but my goodness, I've never, like his just his knuckles are so dry. And the skin is like all scaly and cracked. No. Nope. Okay. Can I leave my hand, mommy? Huh? Can I leave my hand? You have another one you can wave. Like he did have he was given steroid cream from his doctor for like Thomas enough, sweetheart. <laughs> Like, he was given steroid cream from his doctor, but I shouldn't have left it in his room and, like, gave him the responsibility of, like, putting it on himself, you know. I was thinking, oh, he's growing up. He can do it himself. Be a big boy. But he lost it. I found the book. When he needs it most, he lost it. All right. Let me see the other side. I found it. Is it it? I don't need this notebook. No. It's a piece of paper. I really think you should go check your dad's desk to look for that. Alright, you can finish rubbing that in. <sighs> but if anybody knows of like some sort of eczema treatment, please drop it in the comment box below because who oh, I've never seen such. Sir, can you go get your story? Thank you. Love you too. It isn't on the edge desk. Um, I feel like you didn't even check. My, but what else is new? Alright, so, brush my teeth. I have to scan so many receipts for my Fetch app. Um, brush my teeth. Did my really very, very, very basic skincare routine. I just got like some, it's like witch hazel solution. And just did that all across my face. Added my moisturizer. And bam, done. Skincare. <laughs> as far as I go. Um, and then before bed, I do like actually, you know, take my, what is it? It's like a charcoal scrub face wash type stuff. I do do that at night. And then put more moisturizer. Because lo and behold, I have eczema too. So... Um, put my lashes in my purse, got my wallet, got my ID card so I can get on and off base. Um, he grabbed the little bag. He could have grabbed it himself, but you know, it's too much like right. Why would he do that when he has a mom who can be his chauffeur and his valet and do all the things that he needs to do? Got my keys. Don't y'all like my little stiletto that I got from Rainbow when I went there recently? All my keys, they look cute. Um... Got my mask because we still have to wear a mask at the waxing place. <sighs> but I'm vaccinated. Like, you mean to tell me I got these shots, went through the night chills, and the back pain again for no reason? I still gotta put on this mask? Like, the whole reason I got the shots was to be able to take these masks off. Alright, cut out the lights. <sighs> oh, look at the children with the trash cans. Taking them out a day late and a dollar short. <sighs> Finally, both boys are dropped off. <sighs> Had to, I went to Theo's original center, which is Aspen, thinking like, okay, cool, this is normal routine. Gonna be in and out, drop them off, can just do my regular circle, head straight out the gate. But no, apparently they had like an AC issue and like the infant toddler room so they had to switch the infants and toddlers to the kindergarten section which then forced the kindergartners out of the building and into a whole new center 
<sighs> so now we are at the new center. But Tom Tom Center was the same. He didn't have any issues. So dropped them off. Then I had to, when we got to Theo Center, we could hear the kids outside doing, because it was water play today. So I had to get Theo dressed into his water gear, which I didn't see the sign that said parents aren't allowed in the bathroom until it was too late, but wasn't nobody in there. All the kids was outside. Listen, I'm not worried about these children. My rugrat just needed some help. So got him dressed. He like basically kicked me out after that once he was dressed and he could go to water. So he's at water play having a grand old time um and now it's like 10 30 no 10 27 my appointment is at 11 um i also didn't have breakfast today so i could stop somewhere on the way there is like a what is on the way there is a mcdonald's there's also a burger king but i don't want something like super heavy on my stomach today i should have just made a shake but Thomas obviously made his self a shake for breakfast because he had the only blender cup for the ninja with him. So couldn't have made a shake even if I wanted to. Um, so now I guess I'll just start going in route towards um, the waxing place. I don't know. I may stop and get something. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't quite decided. But I also need to go to the post office. Like the list just keeps getting longer and longer of all the things that I need to do today while I have the time because tomorrow I go back to work and I open so I'm there from 8 30 to I believe it's at 14 30 which for non-military people is 2 30 um so I'm gonna be here all morning so yeah all right let me stop talking and be about my mission there I need to text her that I'm here. All right, so it's called the Skin Studio. This elevator is dark. I put my mask back on. I've got like music playing and stuff, but it's in this like art gallery kind of building. It's nice. so damn thirsty and they have water and I'm so tempted to get a cup because my mouth is parched <sighs> like I think you can even like buy the art off the walls like this is really colorful um, map painting that I like so much I'm scared to ask how much it costs because it's that big uh, get better lighting Here she comes. Whew. All done. Oh my gosh, it feels so much better. But here's the painting that I was talking about that I love so much. Isn't it pretty? But like all the artwork on the walls, everything is for sale. Oh, I'm going to get some water. Like. I wasn't kidding when I said I'm parched. elevator <sighs> but if you're ever in Colorado Springs come to the skin studio Melinda is wonderful And it's in the the next us building. 
on Cascade Avenue. Both owners, because it's two of them who own it, uh, Melinda and I believe it's her ex-wife. But both of them, I've gotten waxed by both of them. They're both really good. And sometimes it can be like awkward when you're getting a wax. But it's not with them. Like the conversation's always good. It never feels weird. Now I gotta try to open my car door with one hand. With keys and a cup in it. <sighs> Success. All right. So let me sit y'all in the holder. Hey, hi, hello. How are you? Let me turn the camera the other way. That way I'm looking in the right direction. There we go. All right. So first thing, check off the list. And I did put that on my credit card. I know y'all just saw it. I sure did. Um, and I kind of need to run back to the house to get my, um, what do you call it? Oh, I need to get my eyebrows done today too. All right. So eyebrows, lashes. Oh, but I may just have to put that on the credit card. I don't want to. It's going to have to be that. All right, dang it. So, next stop, eyebrows, lashes, but not even the next stop. I need to get something to eat because I am starving. Like, starving, starving. What did I just do with my keys? Okay. I most surely did not have any breakfast. Kids ate though. Had my lukewarm water. Apparently that's supposed to drink your water is at room temperature. Because I normally like my water ice cold, like ice cold. But apparently you're supposed to drink your water at room temperature because it's better for your digestion or something. I don't, that's what the people have said. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Ice cold water seems to quench my thirst. Like right now, if that water was ice cold, I would have felt a lot better. Like, okay, maybe I can survive until I get home after I get my lashes and my eyebrows done. <laughs> Now I'm like, I, I'm about to die. Like, my insides are drying out. <sighs> but maybe that's just me. Okay, so let me check back in with y'all after I get something to eat and we're getting eyebrows and lashes done. Okay. So, eyebrows and lashes were a bust because the place that I went to, um, they apparently only have one person who does brows and she doesn't work on Wednesdays and nobody else is going to be able to do my brows or do lashes because apparently that one woman is the only person who does both services okay so everybody else there just does nails apparently <laughs> uh, I really wish I knew how to put my own lashes on but I just don't I have tried and had to be like all with here and, and whatnot like I just that kind of girl where I can put on my own lashes. 
I'm the kind of girl who pays for other people to do it. Like, happily with a smile. So, I guess those two things I will just leave until I get back to Jersey because I still have so much stuff to do back on base and at home and stuff that I don't want to ride around to another salon to get somebody else to do it. So, we'll just save that for Jersey. When I go back and go to my favorite nail salon to get my nails done, I will get my eyebrows and my lashes taken care of. Because I know they do both and they have more than one person who is able to do both. So, whatever. But now we're headed back on base because we need to go to the post office. Is there anything else we need to do before we head back to the house? Because once we're there, we're gonna be there for a nice little minute until it's time to go pick up the boys. Like, why is packing so difficult? And I really wish that they were like older so that they could be entrusted with packing their own stuff. Because I feel like a chicken with my head cut off trying to pack for so many people. Like remembering what everybody needs and uh. oh boy. I got my lemonade. ice cold. You know, everybody and their mom has a Tesla. How much does it cost? Like, not that I can really compare finances because he got military money. Probably a single soldier with no family. Like, his whole paycheck is just disposable income. Lives in barracks so he doesn't have to pay rent. Almost definitely says clothes, guys. Why are you getting in the clothes line? Like, are y'all actually moving now? Fix the sign if it's actually open. Mm. Post office. Is there anywhere else? I need to check and see if the boys have any refills available on their medicine so I can get that refilled before we leave. Ugh. Oh wow, I'm guessing it actually was open. Because the line is no more. But I feel like the moment I leave this line and go over there, the line that I'm in is going to start moving. Does anybody else ever feel like that? Like I could have been through and been at the post office if I would have gotten the other line. But I didn't want to leave the line that I was in. <laughs> Let me close it again. All right, I'm glad I didn't move over. So glad I did it. Hello. Have a great day. office we go we're home um so i'm trying to write out my to-do list right now of everything that i need to do while i'm home so i don't even know where to start guys um so right now i have my computer out not that i'm talking really see it 
Um, but I had my computer out just because I needed to check my, uh, we get paid on Friday. And instead of just being able to get like a regular, like pay stub or whatever, maybe if I just like tracked better, like of what my paycheck should be, I wouldn't have to like rely on them to finally drop our LESs for me to know what I'm getting paid so I can budget accordingly. And I'm mad that like the sun isn't in the right location. I should change my seat, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like it and have to, where the sun is facing me because the lighting would be better, but it's not going to happen. Um, so finally dropped my LES. So I just needed to check what my paycheck was going to be because I also need to do my budget before I leave. So first on the list is to budget my second July paycheck. Um, Cause I definitely need to do that before we go to Jersey. That way I just don't start spending, spending, spending because that happens. Sorry, that's done. Um, now I need to send an email to my boss. Um, so I'll delete this email. Hopefully I still have her email. Uh, two. Yes, I do. Thankfully it's something real simple. I hope that it doesn't need to come from like my DECA email, like from our, I don't know how you would describe it, like a, the company email. I hope it doesn't need to come from that because she's about to get it from my good old fashioned Gmail. It says my whole name, so she just don't know that it's me. Um, uh, does it have to be an actual letter or can I just put it in the body of the email? Guys, all right, let me just finish this list and then I'll focus on writing out this email. write that in the subject line um so i need to budget out my paycheck email my boss followed by um what else needs to get done uh, fold my laundry that i have upstairs so i know what i'm taking with me what is staying here And then finish packing the boy stuff. Um, fold laundry, finish packing boys' clothes. Finish packing our book bags for the plane. drop off clothes at the thrift store on post that the boys can no longer fit that I can don't wear anymore <sighs> drop off clothes at the thrift um And then I need to make a call for both the boys about their medicine. Um, I feel like the more I think about it, I just keep adding stuff to this list and there are really not enough hours in the day to do all of this. Oh, and I need to finish registering the boys for school.
all right i'm sure there's probably like 50 million other things that i have to do but one two three four five six seven eight the nine things that we currently have on the list are going to take me the rest of the day like the complete and total rest of the day so i'm just gonna work with my list here checking things off and we'll just leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow here we go here we go again trying hard but you want to be my friend ain't no place to hide ain't no one to run to here we go here we go again call my bluff i'ma be here till the end i'm the one you ride i'm the one you ride to if you so I can finish registering the boys for school. Um, so I don't know, as soon as I get home, I'll do that. Um, I got my stuff packed, I got Tom Tom stuff packed, but now I need to pack Theo's clothes. Uh, what else was on that list? Um, I was supposed to do other stuff, I can't remember right now. Oh, I still need to go take the boys' medical papers to the doctor so that they can fill it out so I can add that to their registration. There's not enough time in the day, y'all. really isn't. And I'm home. Um, I've actually been home for quite some time, like a couple hours. Um, I got off of work at 2.30 and came straight here. And it is now 4.53. Um, I finished packing. I meant to show that to y'all, but I was just like, get it done, Drea. Focus, get it done. So that is what I did. Um, I finished packing our suitcase. Um, I'm not even going to try to like weigh it or anything. Like I'm just going to have to pay whatever it costs to put this on the plane because I remember I've done it before when we flew when we were at Fort Stewart and I had went back home to Jersey and like bought a whole bunch of stuff and then I had to buy this giant duffel bag to put everything in to get it back to Georgia I did it before I think I paid like $30 something like that but then again I think it was a little heavy so I did have to take stuff out and put into my carry-on so maybe I should weigh it because I do remember that I was over a little bit. So I don't know. Maybe I should bring down my scale that I weigh myself on and just stand this up on it to see exactly what I'm working with. Like there is still some room in there and some space. <sighs> Cross your fingers that this isn't going to be. I think like the limit is what, 50 pounds, something like that. Uh, oh, please, please, please. Let me show y'all so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But all right, this is the bag. And 
That is my deodorant and the boys brush. And yes, I use men's deodorant because I just feel like it's better than women's deodorant. I don't need to smell like flowers and a cool breeze. Like I need something that's going to not make my underarm stink. So that is the bag. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I'm going to be over. I really hope that I'm not. And I don't want to like weigh down the boys book bags too much that they can carry with them on the plane because then it's going to be a whole lot of complaining and I don't want to carry it and then I got to carry it like I don't want those problems so these are their book bags that I'm trying to not bog down because Theo especially will get to complaining like an old man so I don't want to put too much in their book bags that they don't want to carry it because we have a layover in Dallas so I need them to be comfortable enough to carry these bags with no complaints. So yeah, I'm going to go bring down my scale and try to weigh that and see what I'm looking like and oh, maybe pare down and not put so much stuff in it. But yeah, as it stands right now, that's what it looks like. All right. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to my, you know, good old to-do list. And I've done... All right, so email my boss, finish, finish packing the boys' clothes, finish, finish packing book bags. All I have to put left is their uh, tablet chargers in there, so I crossed that out, called it finish. Um, I still need to finish registering the boys for school. Um, I still need to call their doctor's office about getting a copy of their uh, immunization records as well as, what do you call it? Um... The thing to say that they're healthy, they're physical. There we go. Um, I need to finish folding my laundry upstairs, but that's no rush. And then I need to do my budget. So I think I'm going to take a minute, chill out, and do my budget right now and maybe try to feed myself because I didn't have lunch. I went to, the, to work, blah, blah, blah. What are words? I went to work this morning. I had to be there at 8.30. Got up early, got to work at 8 o'clock with no breakfast. No breakfast. Stomach was growling all shift. So I'm going to try to eat something and do my budget. So that's what I'm about to do. but I added a bank run to it. So I did fold laundry, so that got ch checked off the list. So where's my book? So I can show y'all everything that we have completed. Inventory, Dollar Tree. All right, so bam, here was my list. Here's the last thing that's left is to finish registering the boys. I'm almost done gathering all their paperwork. Um, I still have to drop the clothes off at the thrift store. I've been forgetting to do that, but I have it all stacked up in my trunk, so it's prepared. But I added a bank run to the list because I wanted to take like my budgeting binder with me and not leave it, obviously. But I also don't want to fly with all that money because you know each envelope has money in it. I don't want to fly with that much money on me, like, and then having to keep track of it. And then, God forbid, I sit my book bag down, which I am good for doing like I will put my purse in a shopping cart and walk away to go look at stuff and then come back to it and pray that everything is still left in there so okay I'm not gonna try to do that with my book bag 
I sit it down and then I forget about it and then that's all my money and all my hard work gone. So I deposited all the money into the bank, into their separate debit account. The teller in there, she was so very patient. God bless her. <laughs> like having to go through each account to put each amount in there just to keep everything on the right track and regular. Like she was so patient, love her. So put all the money in and I even um, my, you guys know my savings jar that I had as well as my little piggy bank for whenever I had money left over in my envelopes um, after every paycheck. I even cashed that in at Coinstar and counted up the bills that I had. So it was $63 in bills that were in my savings jar and then it was an additional $22 in my uh, piggy bank. So added that up, deposited that into my little student loans account. So, all money is put away in some place where I only have to worry about not losing my debit card. Like, not losing my wallet. So yay, that is all done. Um, now the thing is, I've done, I'm done packing our bag, but like I was showing y'all, it is super heavy. And so I feel like just for my own sake, even though like I'm checking the bag, so it's not like I'm gonna have to carry it around the airport with me and everything, I still, I don't want it to stay that big and I feel like it's way over the weight limit. So Thomas was saying like, oh, it shouldn't be a weight limit thing if I just show my military ID, but I feel like it's different for him being the soldier than it would be for me just with my spouse ID because they're not gonna tell the soldier that he can't bring his heavy, heavy rucksack because it's over the weight limit because who's gonna say that to a soldier? But for me, and it just being like a regular civilian bag and it's not like I have plates and vests and equipment that I have to travel with, like it's just clothes, so. <sighs> so yeah, now we can go back home, weigh out this bag and then try to just maneuver some stuff and take some stuff out that we can really live without. So yeah, there's so much happening guys. And then I still have to go into work. Oh boy, but all right. Um, I'll talk to y'all when we get back to the house. Okay, so change of plans. Um, we didn't go, we're on base, but we're not home yet because I remembered the stuff in the trunk that I need to drop off. Like, oh, stuff's getting old. You forget everything. So, yeah, we are about oh, to load all of this stuff into the donation. I can't even call it a box, it's a shipping container. All right, so some of my clothes, boys' clothes, housing stuff, all of that is going in there. Okay. Finally. Finished. And I can. Come on. Now my pen want to act up. I don't even know what happened to my purple pen. But I can cross that off the list. So now, the only thing we have left finish registering the boys for school. Alright. Progress. I just love it when a plan comes together. I'm at 18 right now. But okay. To the house we go. For real this time. So I can finally eat something. Because I have not had breakfast. And it is now 11.45. So I um, guess I'm having brunch right now. Don't ask me what that's gonna be. I have no idea. 
I got a boatload of lettuce though that I just bought from Sam's Club. So I guess I'll be having a salad. Just so I feel like I'm not wasting my money. Since I can't take it with me, I know nobody's gonna eat it when I'm gone, so. Every lettuce is, every, every lettuce. Every meal is about to be a salad. Breakfast, salad. Lunch, salad. Dinner, you guessed it, salad. Really got, I think now I'm down to like four. But still, it's a lot of lettuce. Here's the lettuce. I kind of really don't want a salad. Like, I really don't. Because I really don't get full off of a salad. I said that so weird. Off of a salad. Unless it's like a taco salad where I put the ground beef and, you know, the sour cream and the salsa. I still have lots of salsa. Um, but I don't have any ground beef unthawed. So, oh, we have watermelon. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I kind of want meat. Oh, there's hot dogs, but I'm not in a hot dog kind of mood. Do other people have these problems? Like when you're hungry, but you're not that hungry to where you'll just eat anything. Like you're still real picky about what you want to eat, but you're really hungry. Like I... So really, you shouldn't be bullshitting and you should just eat something, anything, but you pick, you know, so we're just going to stare in that inside of the refrigerator until something makes sense. We have eggs. I can make a sandwich, but we don't have any more bacon. So, oh, I think in the deep freezer, we still have kielbasa, which cooks up real fast on the stove, even though it's like frozen, frozen. So I can make that to solve my meat problem and then have my little side salad and call it a day. I think that's my best option, really only option right now, because it's 12 o'clock. I have to be to work at We'll start work at 2.30, so I want to leave at 2 o'clock to get there. Plus, I still want to do other stuff before I go. I still need to film my budgeting video for my second July paycheck. So, yeah, let me stop talking about it and be about it. All right, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Of um, my, I don't know what to call this vlog. I really don't. I'm just going to end it here. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. For watching like if y'all sit through all of my rambling and indecisiveness like i don't know what to tell you like but you are so appreciated and you are so loved but okay guys thank you so much for watching please make sure you like comment share subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye